I take it very seriously. Um, obviously, I was interested in the position, um, and for that reason, uh, I think we have a great opportunity to grow and develop women's football. And the women's national team is our flagship. Uh, they represent Nepal very well. We're coming on the, off the back of the Women's National League, uh, which was very exciting, the first time ever, and a chance to maybe expose some new and exciting talent. Um, so it was very exciting and interesting to, to see that talent, and I think we've got a pretty good chance to qualify for the Asian Cup coming up in, uh, later on in the year. We've identified a squad of players from the National League, which we want to bring into camp, and we want to put them under a bit closer scrutiny and see what they're like at the next level amongst better players. Um, and we're hoping um, that we, as I say, we're hoping to introduce a few um, uh, different methods in our training philosophy and our vision and our direction. Uh, but more importantly, it's about looking after the talent and developing each individual. Um, we've got this squad hoping to come together next month for a camp, we will reduce that number um, and then we will look to uh, bring in our departmental teams to that group to make it um, the next level of selection if you like. And then we hope by the end of, certainly by the end of um, June, we hope to have that squad narrowed down to around 25, 26 players. Obviously Asian Cup we can only take about 23 players, so we need to get that number down. But this, the camp will be about developing a bigger group of players because we want to expose many players to that next level as possible. And that will include younger players also. So it's a, it will be training camps hopefully every month in the lead up to the Asian Cup. From my technical director's perspective, we're trying to grow the game and we're trying to get equal opportunity within the game, men's and women. So if it's good enough for the men, why not the women? So we're trying to grow the game from the grassroots level. And if we grow the pool of talent, hopefully we can grow uh, the game, the women's football particularly, and we will develop better players through a, organically, naturally, through a system, through a process like the National League. So if we get bigger, better, stronger, the future is bright for Nepali football because we have some great talent. It's our, it's our um, responsibility in the technical department and now as national coach that we make sure we look at all the provinces and we explore the talent that's out there because we know it's out there, we need to make sure we get to the regions and identify that talent um, and give them opportunities like the men's programs have. So we're trying to grow the game, grow the talent, um, and for that reason I think our opportunities are great, particularly across the Asian continent. I think we're ranked around 15 in Asia at the moment. There are 12 teams that go to the Asian Cup. So I think position 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is very close. So we've got a great chance to qualify for the first ever Asian Cup um, on the bigger format with 12 teams. Yeah, it's very disappointing. Um, I'm not happy with Samba because she has more Facebook followers than me. So um, obviously she's a very well-known personality in Nepal. Um, look, she's an outstanding player. I think she could play in the W League in Australia and I think she could play in many um, high-level competitions across the whole Asian continent, if not Europe. Um, she has um, taken the game to another level and I think um, one of the good things about her as an individual is that she's helped to develop other players around her. So I think everyone's looking to the level that uh, Samba is at and hoping to achieve you know, the su success that she has had and I think we can do that. We've got some exciting talent, as you mentioned, exposed through the National League. She's a big loss, there's no doubt about that. Um, she scored you know, like a thousand goals in the National League, um, so we're going to miss her dearly. But I know our sports uh, uh, medicine department is looking after her. We're hoping to get her uh, treated very quickly and get her back to rehabilitation and back on the park as soon as possible. So obviously our goal as a nation is to qualify for Asian Cup and we hope that Sumber is back playing for us by that time.